we've got these old doors. This is the issue we're running into. They look like they're original to the home as well as the hardware. Nice. Um, we really love them and we want to keep them that way, but we've run into an issue with being able to lock them because we've lost the skeleton key. Okay. We'd really like to add a thumb latch. Is that even something that's possible? Oh, that's definitely possible. I can do that for you. I, I actually really like these doors, solid doors, full mortise lock set. You didn't really see this kind of quality in a lot of the post-World War II boom houses. They got a little cheaper with holocore doors and cylindrical locks. These are great. I'd love, I love to save that look. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me take it apart and show you what the parts and pieces are, and we'll go from there. All right, sounds All right. good. All right, the first thing we want to get started with is by pulling the knobs off. For that, just a little set screw. Now I'm going to switch to these face plates. There you go. All right, next I'm going to go after the lock set. Just a couple of screws holding that on. All right, now that we have your lock set pulled apart, I can show you what we're working with. This is your older lock body here, set up for the skeleton key, but we want to add a thumb latch to right. it. And it has a square part that goes through the lock to actuate it. And you can see it's not going to work with the old skeleton key. Mm -hmm. We need to find a lock body that will receive that thumb latch and turn the lock. And since I'm swapping out your lock body and I'm adding your thumb latch, I need front and rear plates. I might as well add a new knob as well so it all matches. Okay. I could go to a salvage yard and try and find the parts and pieces to make this work, but it's much easier to buy a replica kit. And what I was able to do is find a solid brass kit that is already distressed chemically and actually has a really nice look compared to your set that's 60 years old and it's been antiqued, so it'll blend right into your home. Great. What do you think? I like it. All Let's right. do it. Sounds good. All right, we want to start off by fitting this lock set into the mortise. It's a pretty tight fit. I might open it up just a little bit on either side so it slides in nice and easy. We don't run the risk of spreading this out at all. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with that step. All right, so sliding this in. Looks like I can reuse my top screw hole, but we'll probably have to drill out a new one for the bottom. But what this kit comes with also is a decorative faceplate that covers the lock body. Mm -hmm. but you can see it's going to make it as so we need to mortise this deeper to recess it in. Okay. What I'm going to do is put a screw in the top hole, lock it out, trace it with my razor knife, and I'll chisel that 316s. Okay. Now that we have that opened up, let's see how this fits. I like to put the screws in it. Make sure I'm bringing it back all the way. All right, we'll put the faceplate on. Nice fit. The only thing is, recessing this in, we actually moved our holes back a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is take a pencil I'm going to do just a little shadow line of the material I want to take away. Perfect fit.
go. Give it a try. Let's do it. All right, closes. Let's check the lock. Hey, look at that, it locks. <laughs> All right, we've got a locking door. Awesome. Thanks for coming to Springfield. Thanks for having me. Nice job, Nathan. Thanks, Kevin. So no way to work with what he had there to save it? You know, we could have hunted around and probably found a skeleton key that worked, but the homeowner really wanted the form and function of a thumb latch. You know, no they had some kids, so they didn't want to lose another key. So you're into new hardware in that situation anyway. But today with all the reproduction, there's a ton of choices. Yeah, I mean, this is just three samples of different back plates. You're not just stuck with the uh, off-the-shelf one anymore. Yeah, oh my gosh, feel how heavy that is. Yeah, it's solid. They really do a great job doing the reproduction stuff. Yep. Honestly, it's probably nicer than uh, some of the old stuff they made. It's not surprising, right? I mean, a lot of stuff was mass-produced and it's old, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's super high quality. If you upgrade, you can also change your style. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, like I said, good information. Thank you. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.